Hello and welcome to this new month that the Lord has given to us free of charge. It is my prayer that the Lord God Almighty will see us all through in the name of Jesus Christ. I am prompted in my heart to share this message with us. There are lots of people who say they are Christians but still live their lives using this satanic principle of use what you have to get what you want. I am saying this this morning because I met a woman who is elderly, she has no job, she looks, she looks poor. In fact, she met us some months ago, a charity organization had to pay her house rent uh, it's a very pitiable situation that she has found herself. So I, I was having some level of concern in my heart and I said, I, I just need to talk to this woman. So after service this morning, I called her and I asked her, what do you do for a living? I thought actually she was a retiree, but maybe because of challenges, financial constraint, she couldn't pay her and she told me that she is not a retiree, she is not working, her only son uh, hasn't been able to secure the job and she said she went to school, she is a caterer and that uh, whenever she went out to get to look for a job, the people that are supposed to give her the job will always tell her Use what you have to get what you want. And she, she has said, she's a Christian, she said, I don't have what they are asking for. So each time I go to get a job, to search for a job, they tell me, use what you have to get what you want. Even in her old age, she still looks very beautiful. So I believe that when she was younger, she looks very, very beautiful. The question is, the people who used to deny her her right to be gainfully employed. That means when she passes interviews, when she is really qualified for the job, are uh, all the people, Muslims are uh, all of them pagans, were they not Christians among them? Now, look at her situation. She is old now. She's supposed to be employed. She is not employed. She's supposed to provide for her family, at least for her son. She can't provide for her son. She is now dependent. She couldn't pay her rent. She manages to feed, to feed, I mean, cater for herself. But this is a woman with a certificate. She went to school. She can work, but somebody denied her her right to work. And let me tell you why I am giving this analysis. If you call yourself a Christian and you deny someone their right, their rightful right, for me to lay some emphasis, you deny them their rightful right, because of enjoyment, you want to sleep with them. And because they didn't give you their body, because they refused to give you their body, because their body is a temple of the Holy Spirit, you say, no, you can't work here. And you deny them. Look at an enjoyment of 10 minutes, 15 minutes, 20 minutes, 5 minutes, you ask for, forcefully, illegally, because you they, they say, no, I can't do this thing with you. You have now denied them their right. And this woman now is suffering. Do you think that God is going to overlook? Even if we live in a society that is totally decayed, a society that has plunged itself 
into deep sexual, uh, moral, uh, sexual decadence. Do you think that God is going to forgive you if you do not repent? How could people be so wicked to the point of denying their fellow human beings their rights to the point that you are crippling, you, you cripple somebody's destiny, the destinies of the children of that person, the destinies of the dependents of that person, and you believe that God is going to forgive you if you do not change. The truth is that the, gov the judgment of God is coming and it is going to be very, very fierce. Because of the oppression of the needy, God is going to arise. He will give them justice. Do you think that the soul of this woman that is crying to God every day will not attract the judgment of God? There are people even in the church who do this. When they are in position of authority, I have heard a lot of complaints. I have, I have received a lot of cases of people, okay, man of God, you are saying we should commit sexual immorality, we should, we should be faithful to our partners, we should, we should be faithful to God, we should not fornicate. But look at my situation. In fact, there was a case in 2007, a cousin of mine. Her name is Grace Egoro. The lecturer said, if you do not submit your body, I'm not going to pass you. The lecturer sees her script. I told her, don't worry, God, is." we prayed. Nothing happened until the point that she went back to the school the following year. The school administration told her, I'm talking about a polytechnic in Delta State here in Nigeria. The school authority said, well, you have to pay the school fees of last year and also pay for this year and write the exam again. But do you know that it was the same lecturer that was to mark her script again? I said, yes, you have to write. Let's see what God will do. I had to borrow money from someone. His name is Gostan Imodu. I borrowed money from him. You, I told him I have a challenge. I borrowed money from him. I gave to this sister. 2007, before she paid, the very week she's supposed to pay, her script, her missing script, the script that got missing for two years was found. The very week, it was like three days to the payment. They said, we have seen your missing script. So when she brought the money, I told my friend, Gosami Modu, I said, it was not actually me that had the challenge, but my sister. I was praying with her, so the challenge is mine. So I said, this is the money I took from you because the sister had to refund the money because she didn't pay it again. It was just about three days before she paid the money that her missing script was found. This is the stress you put people through when you deny them their rights because of your selfish desire. But the Bible says that judgment is going to begin in the house of God because we have the truth. We know the truth. There are some of you that deny people their rights because of your selfish ambition. You want them to give you money. You want to sleep with them. You want some favor from them or the other. And because of that, you can't get it. You deny them their right. And for the, you could put them through pains all the, throughout the remaining years of their life. And you think God is going to forgive you. The judgment of God is coming. I am not here to condemn you, but I'm here to tell you, repent of your sins. Go and do restitution and the Lord will forgive you. If you fail to repent, the Lord is, will definitely pay you for all the pains you make people pass through. Thank you for watching this message. Share this message is going to change someone. God bless you. Visit our websites eagleiopuna.com and biblicalsexualpurity.com. Bye bye.